So everyone's looking to get a little bit of an idea of what Starbound's like. I'm just going to do a, like a kind of a little playthrough of it and go through a planet and show, what, show you what it's like. Now, of course, you start on your ship. You get a little planet navigation area here. And then we're just going to pick a random planet here. Um, yeah, we'll go to this one. As you fly around, you slowly lose fuel, but I have a bunch of engineers, so I don't really lose much of anything at all. And you go through the little flying animation here, and we'll be landing on a planet shortly here. And uh, you go from planet to planet, get different supplies and stuff like that. It's nothing too complicated. And as you can see also here, there is a colony deed. You lay colony deeds on different planets to attract different individuals, as long as there's doors on both sides and lighting, and uh, some piece of furniture. And you can make little colonies on planets, do uh, little mini quests, stuff like that. But I believe we're about here on the planet, so I'm going to do a quick run through of what I generally do when I'm playing Starbound by myself because no one's really online at the moment. You just go around and you explore different planets here. This is a kind of small planet, just a poisonous planet. I don't see much of a benefit here. I also didn't bring my... Uh, proper augments there and those guys are having a little bit of a rough time as it is so we're going to jump to a different planet here and uh, you can just kind of pop back on your ship run back over here so try to pick a little bit more of an exciting planet some of them are just kind of like a swamp land absolutely nothing this one will be a little bit more interesting And once again, you gotta wait for your ship to get there. There's also, as I was saying with the colony deeds, each person can offer you unique items that they sell, depending on the furniture you put in the room, as the kind of NPC you'll spawn. They explain that in another video. So go ahead and check that out if you'd like. It's the one about the colonies. It goes in a little bit more details about them. Let's go down to the planet here. This is a little bit better of one. And you kind of just kind of roam around. If you're familiar with Terraria, it's very similar. Of course, you can. dig into the ground as well and it goes pretty far down and there's different little environments and stuff underneath the ground but I'm just gonna walk across the top planet here different tree spawns they're I would say much more unique than you're gonna find on Terraria but Terraria has, has a lot more mods so there's that something that, like that to consider of course you get little unique biomes here too with unique items and uh, secret little areas here this guy apparently wants to attack me that's not a very bright idea and you can kind of collect up little supplies and stuff like that and then there's nothing too exciting in this one here some of them are like uh, full-blown bases that's just a little kind of an outpost and you roam around and that's pretty much the game. The guys that are following me are basically my crewmates. They do sort of help, I guess, but not really. Oops. 
sound bit. Uh, anyways, that that pretty much summarizes uh, planet travels on a planet to planet basis, and of course you collect all the materials here, and then you take them back to wherever your base of operations is, and you build different equipment and stuff like that. If you like this video and you want me to do more videos like this to give you kind of an overview of how Starbound works and all that kind of stuff, feel free to like, subscribe, and share this video, and I'll make some more.